and your boiler is making such a noise when the hot water is running so if your boiler is making this noise when the hot water is running see what the problem is you open the boiler cover and I'll see what the problem is okay the first thing I do I switch the boiler off and run the hot water again to see if it makes the same noise uh, to eliminate other types of noise that you might have like kettling noise and other other types of noise that you might get confused uh, so we want to eliminate those because that has to do with the heat exchange and all that but this one uh, hasn't got anything to do with that so in order to eliminate those you turn the boiler off you just press that button on it or switch it off from the mains and that is off you run the tap the hot water tap to see if it still makes noise so the hot water is running and it's making the same noise while the boiler is off so we see that the boiler is still making noise although it's off but when you run the hot water it still makes noise so let's see what the problem is all right uh, what i discovered after investigating the boiler and uh, the, the, the problems find out and basically eliminating all the other uh, issues that could cause uh, the whistling noise and again i repeat that you shouldn't confuse this with kettling noise uh, like i did you could turn off the boiler and find out if it's still making noise then it's a different thing uh, or, but if it's making noise only when it's on then it could be kettling or other uh, noise that could come from the heat exchange uh, part or other uh, part of the boiler what I wanted to uh, find was the root cause of this and, and found out in the end that um, there is a filter uh, literally inside the uh, pipe where the hot water the domestic hot water is sorry this one the domestic hot water outlet is connected so if you look at your boiler each boiler is different so uh, mine was actually the first pipe coming down that the first pipe coming down sorry the first pipe coming down is the drain the, the drain that goes outside outside your building uh, but this the second pipe connected to the uh, manifold which is actually the um, first one on the right because the drain wasn't even connected to the manifold it was just directly going outside the building the first one on the right in my case which is uh, Worcester 38 CDI um, it was the first pipe coming down the manifold but in your case you have to look at your manual and see where that domestic uh, hot water outlet is in this diagram it shows this one but it doesn't show the filter or the adapter I'm talking about the adapter the flow control adapter that I'm talking about is this this was the main cause of the problem the, the issue of whistling inside this there is a little filter and similar to what you have on your kitchen taps and uh, that filters the water and sometimes when you open them you see some grits of sand or lime scale and things like that stuck to it and uh, it was similar to that inside this i can't show you i couldn't find the uh, right picture to show you and this is the best i could do because I got too busy doing to do the actual fixing the boiler and I didn't uh, remember to film the rest of it 
and to be honest it was very difficult to get the camera there and me working at the same time and uh, I have to say pulling this out was very very difficult and pulling it back in was even more difficult it's literally inside that pipe that I just showed you so the, the outlet the domestic hot water um, outlet wherever it's joined there is a connection somewhere and that connection you have to be careful you have to look at that that is connected to a plastic um, unit uh, which is your flow control sensor uh, flow control adapter this is your flow control adapter and it's literally inside that flow control unit which is connected to that copper pipe that is coming out of your out of the manifold out of the boiler so you look for that joint or that junction where the domestic hot water outlet copper pipe is connected to a plastic unit inside the boiler inside that junction there is this adapter flow control adapter is called and uh, all you'll see from outside without opening it you'll, you'll see this part this plastic part that sticks out the rest is literally inside the pipe and the unit the flow control uh, or flow, flow control sensor unit you don't need to change the whole flow control sensor uh, you only need to take this out and it's pins in my case you only had pins you had to pull the pins out and pull the pipe out but make sure you drain the water first you know, so there is no pressure behind it and when you put it back again make sure it's empty and you have to really push it hard to go in it won't it won't go in and the pins won't go in until you actually push it properly right in uh, so when I took this out uh, all these plastic caps the uh, knot around this it was just basically crumbling and inside that there was a white filter it was clogged with lime scale so I took that out I bought a new one I put it in and uh, the whistling disappeared and uh, like I said I didn't film the rest of that I just managed to show you what I showed you and the best I can do is this to show you this is the problem for whistling sound for at least Worcester Green Star uh, 35 CDI 37 38 CDI Worcester Bosch or Bush if you want to buy one of these you can look in the description of this video there's a link to the right unit you have to make sure it's the right type right model for your boiler when I changed it for a new one the whistling noise disappeared completely so I hope this helped Thank you very much for commenting, sharing and your support. Till next video, goodbye.